We talk about your process for rewriting. Let's talk about rewriting your own project or a project that you're initially hired to write, not someone else's first. Yes. Um, so what's your process on that? You open up your computer, you sit down, you're not really looking at prior pages before that time, I'm assuming. Rewriting, as you mean, I've turned in a, a draft and they give me notes. Yeah, yeah, and they say, okay, we like this, but here's some notes, and sure. then you're going back over from pretty much page one. And sure. Um, last month, we just went through that, um, and we'll probably go that through again next month because I just turned in something. But last month, uh, the movie that's shooting now, I did rewrites. The first draft was pretty solid. The second draft, a few sequences changed because of particular things, and so there's always a list of notes um, specific. Uh, of what needs to be changed and what's not quite working and needs to be finessed. And many things are sometimes uh, technical um, without getting into particulars, but um, how a sequence is done is, uh, you know, it's always objects. Well, how would that person get that thing? You know, and in my mind, I write it, but then there's the director's mind who has to really shoot the film. And so um, that doesn't come into play till the director comes on board. And so then the notes come in from the producer and then maybe let's say another producer who hasn't chimed in yet and then the director. And then they say, okay, and the director's looking at it hopefully about how can I shoot this film with the money that I have and your mind, but I've never been at the locations. So then a lot of the notes change. Well, we can only get this kind of place. We need it tweaked for that. And you go, okay. And those are, you know, those are great, you know, or um, don't have them have this thing, have them do, you know, being vague, but you know, objects, guns, whatever, you know, things in script. So you go through with almost a checklist and you go and make the fixes. And hopefully, um, like I said, with a solid treatment, it shouldn't be like the house of cards, you know, f implodes because that's not the place to be in development when you're like, oh my gosh, I've got to rewrite like this whole thing. You know, it's still solid. A, B, and C still happens, but you get in, you start to, you know, and there, and there was there was a sequence that changed um, by its own nature, and I agree with totally with the changes because it, it's much. You'll see a lot of nobody sets out to make a bad movie, and the changes are not personal. They're like, oh, you thought of it, and it's terrible. Somebody had to think of it. Somebody had to write it down. Somebody had to create it, and then comes the realities of shooting a movie. And so, you know, my job at that point is to help them make the movie. My job is to help the producer and director's job make the film. I'm not standing in their way. Whatever needs to be changed um, is, is changed. Because now we're, now we're moving through development into a reality phase, not this fantasy of like, oh, these, you know, um, motivations have to track. If they don't, they say, this is kind of weird. Would that character do this? Maybe the other would flip. Or you were saying about the strong you know, keeping in mind the protagonist, well, you gave that to this other character, she should be doing this. You're like, oh yeah, you're right. And it's just an easy fix because that character then now is driving the story and it's happening to them rather than that pushing it off to co-star or something, you know. Um, and it's very, um, I don't say methodical, but it is kind of methodical because, you know, after doing this for so long that it's like, this is what needs to be done. And, um, double checking, me going back through, looking at all the, you know, putting it on revision mode so they can, you know, see with the, you know, um, so everybody's on the same page and then they get it. And, and the nicest thing is to hear um, even, you know, do a quick polish, let's say a couple day polish, which is, you know, fixing little things is that the uh, producer or director comes back and says, that was a great job. You know, still, I still get happy, you know, I'm still happy about hearing that somebody says, because they don't have to say good job. You know, your job is, you know, you got paid, but great job. And on time, because if you had taken a week, that would push, you know what I mean? They're already scouting locations. They're doing things. I don't want to hold up that. I want to get this turned around as fast as I can also to get off my plate, to open up for other work. You understand? So you want to be the team player as I say, an ultimate collaborator at all steps of, in, in the way and know, your, and know your place in the bigger picture. And so when I go to the set, if I'm not working on the set, I'm a guest, you know, I'm, I'm there, it's nice. I've been on sets that I've worked um, writing and you know, I've also been on sets as a guest where the director returned to me and he knew like my first spec, how long it took to get it made. 
and he would turn to me and say, what did you think of that take? And I'm like, you're talking to me? And I go, actually, I thought it was excellent. He goes, me too, moving on. And you're like, ah, you know. Angels are in the background. Yeah, I mean, that, that's the great, that's the great uh, stuff you work for. And then there's the, the dark, you know, stormy nights when you're in despair and all these other things. But um, you really work, you know, or, the, or that movie premiered at the Palm Springs Film Festival. It opened. Oh, wow. And so we had a theater of 300 people. And I'm sitting with the, the stars and, and one of them I grew up as a kid watching is Academy or nominee. And I'm like, and he turns over after the movie and he, sh he grabs my arm. He says, great job, Mark. Nice. And I'm like, ah, here's the guy with the thing. And, the, ah. and who's he talking to him? Oh yeah, I wrote this movie. And then we get up and we do the Q and A and someone asked the, uh, the star, the lead, they said, you know, in that one scene, um, I love what you said to your son. It was so amazing. And you know, an actor could have went, thank you very much, you know. And, and the star of the movie said, well, you know, people always say this to actors, um, what they say is genius. He said, but without the writer, and he put his arm around me and he pulled me close. He said, there would be nothing to say. Nice. And that was another like, huh? you know, so you have these, cool. these, these high of highs, but it's not always like that. Sure. You know? But, but it, that, that sounds like it's worth oh, it going through some of the, the other, lows Yeah, the hard work and, and stuff. And you want to get to that point where you're on the set and you're an equal collaborator, not just a a fanboy going, oh my gosh, oh yeah, I wrote this. You're right, you know. And then even more when I've had relationships with the director who said, I want you on the set, just as a, as a good luck piece because we start making changes. I want somebody to go, oh, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, you know, a lot, lot going on in the set and people forget and things fall through the cracks. Well, the writer is gonna be go, hey, hey, you know that line, you might not wanna cut it, you know, because it's gonna change things. So that's, uh, but also you don't want to be, they don't want writers on the set because they are changing things and you don't want to be the, uh, you know, grumbling and saying, uh, you know, walking around angry. You're like, how could you be angry? You're eating seared ahi at the craft service and you're be, you got paid <laughs> and these wonderful actors are elevating your material. I mean, you know, sounds, sounds good to me. Sounds nice to me yeah. too, yeah. <laughs> what if you, what's day one of a um, rewrite like for someone else's work? So they've given you notes. This is what the person gave us, the, the other writer gave yeah, us, and this is what's wrong. It's the same, you're saying it's different than my own? Oh, I guess then it is, it is this the same process then? Yeah, it's just, it's, it's chipping away. You know, my, my own rewrites is based upon notes of people that I trust, like, like saying a spec. I would give it to my circle of writer friends who would give me notes. I'd say, mm, yeah, and then okay, and then go about the rewrite. But um, it's, it's similar to, to, to when, you know, just check off the checklist and say, okay, and, and get that draft done and, and push that, push, push each draft closer to the, the final realization of a production draft, you know, which is, I mean, obviously your spec is a spec, it's not a production, but I mean, in a rewrite, my job is to push that as quick as I can to get these changes made and not hold up everything. And you're doing these changes in, in numeric order in terms of the script page? Yeah, I mean, they're specific, which I love. Other times I've had broad strokes like, well, you know, um, which I put in the book, the, some of the notes, the, the emotional highs have to be higher and the lowers have to be lower. <laughs> what, what does that mean? And then they go, okay, good luck, see you in a week. And you're like, I don't know what you're talking about. What, you, know, <laughs> you know, and then if you come back and ask too many questions, they're like, why do we hire you again? You know, you don't know what you're doing? You know, yes, I do, you don't know what you're doing. You know, not all producers know how to talk to writers properly. You th they think they do. Sure. And the really good ones do, where they like really get in there, because some of them are writers as well. But the ones that just paint a broad stroke and then say, see you later, and they're busy with their other projects, and you're, you have to learn how to filter that and go, the emotional highs and lows, what, what page? <laughs> what character? I, I don't understand. And they go, you don't understand? Okay, and they pull the chute and you're, you're gone, right. you know. Is this leaving Las Vegas low? Or yeah, is yeah, this yeah. Mary Poppins high. Like, yeah, exactly. Doing? It's like what what are we uh -huh. what are we doing? So, um, but the one the page specific notes are, um, which then become scene specific notes once there's the scene numbers you know happen. They're like, in this scene, X, Y, and Z, and you go okay, blah, and this dialogue here, blah, you know, and so you just go in and do it, change, 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 you know, and turn that draft in and hope that's closer and closer and closer. What you don't want is to be farther and farther away. That's when you, they bring somebody else in. 